Hi, it's Mr. Goff here from mrgoff.com with another GCSE economics video, this time on the role of money, including money as a medium of exchange. Money. We all use it, some of us crave it, but what actually is it? Money is anything that is generally accepted as a means of payment for goods and services. That includes the notes and coins that we expect to use normally. It also includes money that's held in the bank that we own. This could be in the form of savings accounts or current accounts. It doesn't include debit and credit cards. These are actually just convenient ways of accessing the money that we have in the bank. The same could be said of checks. Why do we need money? To answer that question, we have to look back to the history of man. At some point, people realised that they could trade, or barter in other words, in order for both parties to receive a mutual benefit. As you can see from the illustration below, this eventually led to a problem. How do you trade items when they are not of equal value? This problem in a nutshell is the double coincidence of wants and needs. That is, each person involved in the transaction must want to get what the other person has and be willing to give away what the other person wants. The solution, money. This would allow people to swap things that were not of equal value. Money is anything that is generally accepted as a means of payment for goods and services. In the early times, Things like cowrie shells were used as money. Throughout time, a variety of things have been used as money. In the early days of Australian settlement, rum was frequently used as a form of currency, particularly on the black market. The ancient Greeks came up with the idea of coins and it has spread throughout many different societies since. All of these forms of money have been used at one point as a medium of exchange. A medium of exchange is anything that sets the standard of value of goods and services to all parties involved in a transaction. This would solve our problem earlier of the gentleman with the cow wanting to buy some groceries. He could trade the cow for a large amount of coins and then use a small number of those coins to purchase the groceries he needs. This makes the exchange between the two parties far simpler. Well, that's all I've got for you today. Hopefully you've learned something interesting about money and its role as a medium of exchange. Until next time, this is Mr. Goff from mrgoff.com. See you again.